When x cubed minus 2x squared minus 15x is factored completely, which expression is one of the factors? Well, let's factor that completely before I even look at my options. I have x cubed minus 2x squared minus 15x. Now, they mentioned factored completely. So the first way that you factor things is you look at every single term and try to bring out a greatest common factor. Do you have something in common with all three of these? And the answer is yes, you do. An X is in common in all three of them. So you bring out an X. When you factor out the greatest common factor, you divide that factor from the remaining three. And when you divide an X, from all of these, you subtract the exponent. So if I take one X away from three X's, that gives me two X's. If I take one X from negative two, that's not affected. But if I take an X from X squared, that leaves me with just one X. If I take an X away from 15, that's not affected. But if I take an X away from X, no more X's. Now I take a look at what I have inside. And again, I love the way that they said this because when it says completely, it makes me think, um, I'm probably gonna have to factor again. So let me see, this is a quadratic. Can I come up with two numbers that add up to negative five and multiply out to negative 15? Yes, I can. Okay, first off, if it multiplies out to negative 15, one's got to be positive and one's got to be negative. Three and uh, five multiply out to negative 15, or in this case, a, if one of them's negative and one of them's positive, it does. And if one of them is negative, specifically negative five, and if three is positive, negative three and negative five add up to negative two and multiply out to negative 15. So now everything is factored completely. So I have three factors. I have X, I have X plus three, and I have X minus five. Which one of these is a factor? X minus five, there you have it. That's my answer, Dunzo.